I think Saudi Arabia, which kicked out the Canadian ambassador for criticizing the human rights and suspended contracts with Canada in retaliation. Adil Jubey said, we're not a banana republic for you to talk about us in this way. I think that Saudi Arabia, which ramped up the gas prices in order to try to punish Biden in the midterm elections and then force Biden to go to Jeddah to beg Mohammed bin Salman for a reset in relations. I think that Saudi Arabia, which brought Xi Jinping of China and gave him red carpet treatment to say to the Americans, I promise I'm ready to go to China if you don't treat me with respect. I think Saudi Arabia, which showed power when bin Salman was personally offended, has the ability to display this power with regards to Gaza, but chooses not to and chooses instead to allow its media to propagate a narrative within Saudi Arabia itself, whether it's on Al Arabi and the like, and the views expressed are still my own, in which they argue that the problem is the Palestinians, not the Zionists. The problem is that the Palestinians need to learn how to make peace with the Israelis and that the problem is the Palestinians who essentially ruined the ability to make peace with the Israelis. This can be found and documented within the Saudi media itself.